speaking of the Dolphins and in, 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 in NFL, best wide receiver core. This has been going around the hmm. office. We were arguing about it. I'm, again, I'm going to let you go <laughs> first because I've got data here, and I don't trust that your data is better than my data. And uh, look, well, I typically wouldn't my come opinion this. is always better. I, than I typically don't. I leave data out of arguments. I just argue for with passion. But this one was I couldn't convince people why my opinion was right. So the only way that I because everyone's going by the eye test, which I still feel the eye test is. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I, I needed data, and I think I'm good. So go ahead and tell me <laughs> who you think the number one wide receiving core is. All right, look, you asked me this question earlier, and uh, and I said the Cincinnati Bengals, and I'm going to stick with that. Just because of the the age of the 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 wide receivers, and look, I just to put this out there for everybody, we are not factoring in the tight ends and what they can do to bolster a wide receiver core. Oh, see, you you flipped the script on me today. It was like, nope, we're not counting wide receivers. We're not counting, or we're not no, counting tight backs. ends. But I'll, I'll 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 still stick with Cincinnati. I I think that Jamar Chase, T Higgins. Tyler Boyd, those guys have been, I mean, all over the place. And I did, I did, if you put all three of them out there at one time, like I don't know who you guard. Now, now look, Cincinnati doesn't have a tight end that's going to scare you to death. Um, I, you know, they, they certainly have uh, the running backs that can do it. Uh, that'll that'll keep uh, you know corners and safeties down in the box in order to make sure that the running back doesn't get loose on the on the flares. Um, but I, I really right now feel that Cincinnati has the most potent wide receiver core with those three guys. So it's tough. And Scott brings up a good one that 49ers have a great offense or wide receiver core, which wasn't, it wasn't in the sure. top five when I looked it up, but with Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel and George Kittle, that's a pretty, I don't know who the other wide receiver is, but that's a pretty healthy wide receiver core as well too. Who I, who I am arguing for. And I think with the reason, look, I love the Bengals. I love Jamar Chase. I think T. Higgins and Tyler Board are both great. I think Hurst is great. I think Joey B, in my opinion, is just that good. So part of me is like thinking, well, well is it the wide receiver core good? Or is Joey B just that good? Right? Like that's kind of where I'm at. As for who I think, you can make, a, make an argument for the Bucks, the Dolphins. The Eagles is where I, in my line, my loyalty for best wide receiver core. Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, dogs. And I have some data here to back up. I'm not just pulling this out of my ass here. For and I only compared the Bengals versus the Philly because that's who I was arguing. Most receptions, Devontae, AJ are one and two. Not one and two, but they lead over Jamar. Um, and then it's T and Boyd after that, obviously. For total yards, AJ, Devontae. Then it's Jamar, T and Boyd. Not in that exact order. And again, like T and Boyd are pretty far down after that. For touchdowns, AJ, Jamar, and then T and Devontae are tied. For tight end, Goddard has 300 more reception yards on two more catches and one more touchdown than Hurst. Now, here's where I know I'm going to probably lose the argument because the third wide receiver, I don't even know who it was for the Eagles. <laughs> so I, I think from a from one, two, three, that's where you can make the argument for the wide receiver core. And you can even say, well, that's why the numbers are so much better for AJ because the third wide receiver is not that great. But I think the wide receiving core in Philly – makes Jalen Hurts that much better. I don't think the wide receiving core makes Joey Burrow that much better. I think Joey Burrow makes them that much better. So to me, that's why I picked the Philly for the, the best wide receiving core. And I think, look, uh, the Dolphins are a very close second, in my opinion, with Jalen Waddell, uh, Tyreek Hill, and uh, Jacecki as well, too. I think Jamar Chase is a great wide receiver, and I think he... He's like a Justin Jefferson where he kind of he can carry a room. And then T and Tyler are, are great wide receivers as well, too. But I just think as a whole, I, I, I don't have the Bengals that high. I really don't. And it's not a knock because I love the Bengals. I think they're great. I just think that Joey B has a more of an aspect of it, and they look brighter than what they actually are. And that's and that's that's where sure. I stand on that. So, I, look, it's been a fun – Look, I want to get – I want to give the Raiders at least a, a, a bit of a you know a, a yeah. show in place uh, here. Uh, with Devontae Adams, uh, Waller, Renfro. I mean, look, they're they're doing they're doing their thing out there as well. They're, look, it, it is it is interesting to see um, just some of the, the the wide receiver core groups. Um, even even with Tampa Bay, I mean, look, you've got uh, Evans, you've got Godwin, you've got 
Well, I, I mean, you had like OJ Howard out there. Gage, it, just, it feels like there's a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah Gage. Russell Gage is in there. That's, that's, that's healthy as well, too. Look, I mean, how I kind of gauge, I think Goodwin, Goodwin had a little bit of a down year. I think if you, if you ask me last year, I would think the wide receiving core for, for Tampa was much better. I think Goodwin was much better. I think uh, Mike Evans had a much better year. Look, Tom had a down year this year. And so, look, that was another, I think this was an example of this year where the wide receivers were better than the quarterback, and they kind of really, you know, helped carry the team. I think Goodwin and, and Mike Evans are, are great uh, wide receivers. And honestly, if they didn't have such a bad year, I think we would probably be talking about them a little bit more, to be honest with you. But I think you can't sleep on Philly's wide receiving core. They're just, they're, they're one and two. They're, T, could T. Higgins be a one? Yes, he could be a one. Is he a solidified one like Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown? No. Devontae Smith was number one, was the one guy. A.J. Brown was the number one guy and came to Philadelphia, right? So that's kind of how I look at it. If like we're looking at tiers, I put, I put Devontae, like Devontae, Jamar, Justin, and AJ kind of in the same tier. T, T's in a separate tier. Boyd's even in a lower tier than that. I would even put Tyreek and Jaden in that upper tier as well, too. That's kind of how I look at it. So, what about the Chiefs? Do you think, do you feel like the Chiefs no. just don't get they enough respect just, from a core? No, they just have Travis Kelsey. I think when they had, when they had Tyreek Hill, when they had Sammy Watkins, um, McCole Hardman, obviously. And Travis Kelsey, they're a little bit stronger, but Juju Smith ain't the guy. He 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 helps them. But if you go watch that game in Jacksonville, bro, it's it's they're they're two nasty it, running yeah, backs. It, yeah, it was it was Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kadarius Tony, Nicole Hardman, I like. I just don't think that he. I just think he's a, a, a small role player. Kelsey is is oh, clearly I the star. I forgot they added Kadarius Tony this year. So Kadarius, they did. Uh, Tony, Juju Smith, they're just in my opinion, none of those guys go anywhere, and they're the number one guy. Not, none of those wide receivers would be the number one dude. Could they act as the number one dude? But if you go, if you tell me, hey, Juju Smith is the number one wide receiver here, I'm not like, oh, they good. You know what I mean? Or like, hey, Kadarius yeah. Tony's the number one. Like, oh, they no. And that's kind of how I look at it. Yep, I, I agree with that. I agree. Like, they, they do have a lot of talent at the position, but to your point, they don't have that number one guy. They have guys um, that, that suit so I Patrick Mahomes' ability to, to to basically get loose, and they just keep running around because they're little just energizer bunnies. That's how I look at it. 